In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to make a basic three bearing fidget spinner in Tinkercad. Now, the important thing to remember when making something that has multiple parts is that it is to the right size or else those parts won't fit together. So, in creating a spinner, you have to remember the size of a skateboard bearing because that is, of course, what's going to go inside the spinner to make it spin. So, skateboard bearings are either 22 millimeters or 0.87 inches. Now, by default, Tinkercad is in millimeters. I'm actually going to change my window to inches by clicking the Edit Grid and flipping it over to inches here, just because I prefer to work in inches. Now, we need to get our holes for the bearings ready to go. So I'm going to grab the cylinder with a hole here, and we need to make it 0.87 inches in order to fit the bearings. To type in dimensions, I'm going to slide in my ruler and type in 0.87 for both the length and width of this cylinder. Because this is a hole, the height is completely irrelevant. I actually recommend you make it quite tall and even move it down so it cuts through both the top and bottom of the work plane because you want this to cut through the body of the spinner. I'm then going to dismiss my ruler for now just to kind of clear up my work plane. And I'm going to copy and paste this cylinder so I have three. Now I'm going to select all three cylinders and we'll use the align tool to make sure everything's nice and aligned. And by default, it should actually be evenly spaced due to my snap grid here. So I have an eighth of an inch grid snap. So if I were to drag these in so they're touching, I know that if I use my arrow keys, I can space out an eighth of an inch at a time. So I'm going to do two clicks with the arrow keys to make it a quarter of an inch apart. And again, that is because of this grid setting. I could have actually changed the grid to a quarter of an inch, so one click would have moved these cylinders the proper distance, but an eighth of an inch clicks are just fine. Now I'm actually going to group these cylinders so I don't accidentally pull them apart or move them, and I'm just going to move them to the top of my screen here. I need to go ahead and create whatever the body of my spinner is going to be. Now again, this is going to be a rather basic spinner because making a more complicated uh, three or five bearing spinner, I should say, um, with Tinkercad is a little bit difficult. I recommend you check out my other video on how to make a spinner with on shape for making more elaborate spinners. But anyway, we're just going to grab, I'm grabbing a box, and it looks like I grabbed the rounded roof here, and I'm just going to pull out my ruler and kind of size these like I want. So I want the thickness to be 0.35 inches. Um, the length, three inches is fine. The height, one is a little narrow, so we're going to make it 1.5 inches. Well, that's a little bit too much. Let's make it 1.25 inches in height. And now what I was going to do is try to turn this rounded roof and use it as the end and kind of have a rounded spinner design. So I'm going to rotate this rounded roof 90 degrees. I'm going to make the height of this 0.35 to match. I have to make the height over here of the object 1.25 to match. And if I use my align tool, it should go ahead and center these for me. And then I can actually just snap it right to the end there. Um, oh, and it should be 0.35 in thickness and zero inches off the work plane. So that way everything's nice and flush. I'm going to delete my ruler, get it out of the way, and copy and paste the rounded roof, and we'll rotate it around and put it on the other side here. Okay, I'm gonna group this body together. Then I'm gonna take my whole group, and I'm gonna take my spinner group, and we'll use the align tool to center everything, and let's see how it looks. Um, let's see, I think we're gonna space the bearings out a little bit. So I'm going to ungroup my spinner bearings here. For whatever reason, Tinkercad decided they should no longer be holes. And I'm just going to click an eighth of an inch out um, to space them out a little bit more. Then I'll make them a hole. I'm gonna group them together. And I'm going to double check the center alignment on the body of the spinner here. So we'll just center, make sure everything's nice and good, see how it's grayed out. That means that it is in fact centered. And we can go ahead and select everything and group everything together to give us the 
three-hole spinner. Now, I absolutely could go ahead and do some type of stylistic design aspect to it. You know, I could maybe grab a some type of point or roof or another rounded roof, and I could do some type of cut or groove. So if I rotate this rounded roof here, vertical, now I could actually go ahead and turn this into a hole, and maybe I want to do something like this where I cut out into the spinner or something. You know, I mean, it is a stylistic design. This is certainly probably the most basic spinner design there is. But again, using Tinkercad to make a spinner is actually a little bit difficult. Uh, again, I recommend you check out the on-shape video to make a more detailed spinner design.